Hello again. Well, it seems that last week in our junior high school class, um, I set our students an impossible challenge. Um, I prepared a theme about the painter of this rather famous portrait, uh, yes, Leonardo da Vinci. And after looking at his life and his roles as an artist, a scientist, an inventor, um, I challenged the students to build the Da Vinci Bridge using, using chopsticks. Now, if you don't know what the Da Vinci Bridge is, what am I talking about? It's based on this sketch by Leonardo da Vinci um, of a self-supporting bridge, um, basically woven with strips of wood. Um, it was supposed to be a temporary bridge uh, to be used by armies when they were racing across the land. Uh, whether it was built or not, I don't know. Um, anyway, I gave our students a picture like this. Um, and challenge them to build it from chopsticks. Now the problem arose is that I gave them chopsticks, disposable wooden chopsticks, and they're everywhere in Japan, uh, from these packets. Uh, when I should have given them these kind of chopsticks, what's the difference? Well, these ones, which I'm going to call posh chopsticks, if you take a look at that on the camera, you can see we've got a nice little bit of detailing that we're supposed to hold them. Um, they have a round section to them, and they're quite smooth. Now that was the problem. Obviously being round, they tend to roll off each other, making the challenge impossible. Where is that waribashi? Or the plainer chopsticks, the standard chopstick, let's call them. Uh, once they're broken, you can see quite clearly there, um, they're four-sided. Which obviously, when the bridge is held up, well, the bridge is held up by friction and gravity, that surface area is going to play a big point in keeping that bridge upright. Okay, let's see if I can make it now using the ordinary chopsticks. Okay, so I'm going to use a combination of the bog standard flatter chopsticks um, along with the posher round the disposable chopsticks. Uh, I'll take the flat ones, lay two across here, put two on top, and then one in the center on top of everything. Our posh chopsticks come through there. We put one like this and one like that, the two facing that direction, two on top and one in the center on top of everything else. And then let's weave our chopsticks through. So we're going to put one through here and let it hold. One for this side, okay, then do the same on this side, so let's just lift that, uh, through that, get one through here, okay, and there we have uh, the Da Vinci Bridge made from chopsticks. Let's take a closer look at that if I just grab the camera. Oh, okay, so that's it in there. Well, you can see there, but there is space underneath it. Okay, I'm going to find the heaviest thing we have in the school that I can find. Um, is the concise uh, Oxford Dictionary. Okay, so let's see if our bridge will support it. Will it? Okay, will it or not? Okay, and I think it has, if you take a look, there still is space under there, not a great deal of space, but it certainly held the weight. Okay, clear air. Success. Okay, so we've got our that small bridge, if you like. Can we extend it? Let's see if that's possible. It should be. Um, and one under here, and put 
one into the Okay, open it up. We then take it this side also. Wow. Ah. Uh, having more than one pair of hands would be a great advantage with this project. So there you have it, how to build a Da Vinci bridge using chopsticks. Now it seems there are two things to remember. Number one, don't use the posh disposable chopsticks, but go for the ordinary box standard waribashi. And number two, if you can find more than just one pair of hands, I'm sure you'll have a lot more success and it won't take so long. Um, any comments you have, please leave them below. Thank you for watching. Bye.